Hello everyone. Welcome to the Shave of the Night. Thank you for joining me. Uh, friends of the channel, much appreciated. Thank you for being here, for watching these videos. Without y'all, wouldn't even be doing this. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, you're missing out. Join us on the crazy train. You'll have fun, I promise. Uh, this shave is going to feature a uh, very cool gift that was gifted to me by a person who I'm glad to call my friend. I think it's an awesome gift. It is the Parker SRX Shavette. Right there, you see it says Parker. Uh, it's stainless steel, chrome plated, so it is shiny. Look at it in that light. Shiny. Now, if you don't like fingerprints, don't get this. But I love it. It's heavy. It's got good weight. It's good construction. I know the other Parkers were celluloid on the handles, so they were lighter. This is heavier. It's great. Works great. I have been using it. I actually did a shave yesterday. Did the video. I was editing in the intro, the music, some text down at the bottom, and I accidentally deleted the video from my phone. Needs to say, I was not a happy camper. So, this is a shave. I shaved last night. I'm gonna shave again tonight because I feel like I owe it. And this mug needs it. I got one day's growth. So, the soap we are gonna be using I have not used this soap yet. Uh, let me backtrack. I used because, man, hang on one second. Let me get it. I wanted to show it in the video. I used Sterling's Haverford, which is a Tom Ford tobacco vanilla dupe. Their version. It smells great. And I have the aftershave to it, which is a sample size right there. This is 0.5 milliliters. And it smells great, man. But, when it runs out, I have found the perfect match for it at the store. And this is what I used last night. <laughs> so, you will be seeing it again. Nivea Men Aftershave Splash Vanilla Bourbon. Man, smells great. It's good. I think it matches it perfectly. So, that's what the shave was. But, let's talk about tonight's shave. Because I've been blabbed enough here we go i've never used it cella i've always pronounced it cella but i was corrected it's cella crema de barba is what we're going to be using it's like marciano cherries man it's almond cherry it's like marzipan oh. and i got some on my nose the brush we are going to be using is the vanderhagen it's probably, I don't know, pure. I think that's the lowest badger. It's pure, I believe. Or it might be best. I think it's pure. It's the lowest badger, but we're going to use that. And the blade we're going to be using is a first time. Now, I got these in my tri-blade set. I ordered a bunch last year. And I'm just now working through them. But it's a... Um, Gillette 7 o'clock, get it in the light, sharp edge. You're probably not going to be able to read it, but sharp edge. And I think it's the yellow pack, if I'm not mistaken. I think yellow has the super stainless and the sharp edge, I believe. I'm not sure, but that's what we're going to be using. So let's, uh, I was going to say, let's get the water on our face, but hell, I ain't loaded the brush yet. Okay. Let's load. I chose this brush because, uh, you know, I just wanted something just a little bit softer on my face. So, now I know this brush is really soft. I don't know if this is, I'm loading from the tub. I don't know. I've never used Sella. But I'm assuming it's just like any other, so this is what I'm going to do. And we'll see what we get. I 
I've been having uh been having some trouble. Not really trouble, I mean it's me. Uh getting a slick lather with the sterling. And I know it's me, I'm not blaming the soap at all. So uh Looks like a good load right there. Whoop. Let me fill the sink up with some water. So, uh, you know, and I was given, you know, told uh, a couple of, you know, a couple of tips. You know, synthetic brushes kind of work well with it. A wetter brush, so. I love it. it. Smells great, but I know it's my fault, so you know, I'm not gonna blame the soap. So, all right. While that's filling up, I'ma start lathering up. Let me wet the face just a tad. No prep other than a shower. Y'all know. Shower beforehand. That's it. No pre-shave. Nothing. Here we go. Hey man, for a uh, for a five dollar brush, this thing is soft. I mean, yeah, it's cheap. You know, I got I got hairs falling out, but like you've heard me say, you know, that's a natural brush thing. I'm gonna shed, but I tell you what. For the price, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I know people say, well, man, it's not artisan. Yeah, I know. But, man, I'm telling you, it's super soft. Doesn't feel scritchy at all. And I mean, that's what it's supposed to do. So, I can't complain. And I will tell y'all, the reason I was talking about the Sterling and uh, you know, not being able to get it where I want it, that lather, is because with these shavettes, straights a straight blade a shave it whatever you know a straight edge blade you need to have an ultra slick lather it's not so much the cushion as it is slickness because you need that razor to glide because it's fixed for one it's flat and Nobody wants to have a dry shave. So, it's not really so much cushion, slickness. You gotta be hydrated. I'm gonna paint just a little bit more water in here and then we're ready. Ready to roll. This is good. It smells good too. I like this. This is nice. First time using this and it is wonderful. Reminds me of a uh, Christmas, the Christmas cookies, you know, amaretto cookies. Anybody remembers those amaretto cookies? That looks pretty good, actually. It's that's a well hydrated lather. That looks good. Okay, here we go. Look at that, man. Look at that. I'm talking, you know, what? What I say? Five dollar brush. I got a lather up my nose. Can't be beat. Okay. Now, I'm gonna have to take off my glasses to do this because I have to stretch my skin. But let me load the razor up first. Look at that. Yep, never fails. Let me clean up right here real quick. All right. 
see how hydrated this stuff is while I sit here and load the blade. And I'm thinking, thinking I'm gonna get me some, uh, they call them half blades, because I don't mind splitting them in half. You know, that's what you do. You take a double edge right down the middle. You hear that snap? I don't mind doing that, but man, I've got like four of them up there because I've been using this, this Parker all week. So I'm gonna give me some half blades. I know I have a local beauty shop here. They sell, they got one little aisle, you know, for men's stuff. So I'm gonna go get me some, I've seen them there. Uh, okay, to load it, take this little pin right here, you pull it back and it comes in part in two. Separate it at the post, right there. You see those, those two little pins? That's where the blade sits. So, just like that. Get it without falling out. It sits on those pins and then you take it, push it back together. You'll hear it snap here in a minute, right there. And then you push that back down. Now be careful, watch your thumb blades in there but this keeps the blade fixed so there you go looks good yeah that light hit it yep, right there okay now glasses off eyes need to adjust <laughs> and i'm gonna get to the shave lather still looks good with the grain Now I know I've said that you don't need to stretch shaving, you know, double edge shaving. Oh, puff out your cheek. which is true for double edge and single edge because the razor is going to stretch your skin, that safety bar, I believe. Now, this is just my own opinion. It's going to stretch your skin for you. Plus, you're already kind of stretching like that, you know, when you shave, which is good, same way with this. But you control the angle with your double edge. You control this. You control that more. I mean, you control this motion here and you can flex more than you can with this. This is on one plane. And I mean, you have to stretch because it's a fixed point. You control, let me get it. You control this, but this right here is gonna cost cuts and nicks, whereas this will not, my personal opinion. So, all right, I'm gonna keep going. I know some people might say, man, you know, what are you talking about, dude? It's just, it's my own opinion, man. All right, here we go. Left side. But I can tell you, I am going to have to grow my sideburns out a little bit more because I cannot see to cut those in. I can't see. I'm having to like stretch across because I can't see because your hands in the way. So just a little stuff to think about. All right, man, puff out your cheek. Oops. 
I apologize if I'm not talking more during the shave. But I can tell you, this requires way more concentration. I'm not gonna lie. All right, mustache area. And I have already, I nicked myself bad right here. You see it? Whew. This is good for getting right up under the nose. I mean, you can just go swoop down right up under the nose. All right, the chin. Sharp edge, it's not a bad blade. There we go. All right, this is the backward backhand. Just, just pinching it right there. Yeah, it got me, got me good right there. Because I was going fast. Speed shaving, can't do that. Can't do it. You got to slow down. And a word of advice, do not shave where there is no shake lather. Do not. You know, I can get away with it with my D's. Can't get away with it with this. It will tell you. <laughs> it will let you know with a quickness. And see, what happened right there is, was I wasn't stretching. And the skin was loose. And I had on my glasses. And I cut myself. Pop, right there. And it got me right there. But that was against the grain on the mustache. So let's relather. So both of those are my fault. Not the fault of the razor. It's me. 99% of the time, it's gonna be you. I can tell you though, this badger, whew, when I first used it, it's starting to calm down now because I've used it a couple more times, but whew, it had that smell that you always hear about. Yeah, this one had it, but that's the quality of the hair and the brush. It'll calm down the more I use it. I know it will. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Creamy goodness though. All right. And if you get into straight razors and shave heads and stuff, you'll find that you won't have to do so many passes. You, you just won't. I mean, I fixed to go against the grain all the way around. Here we go. But you will need to learn how to use both hands. Got to. Mm. 
guy learn how to be ambidextrous? Is that right? Yeah. Now, this pass that I gotta get, because my hair grows this way. No, I'm sorry. This way. Yeah. This is gonna be against the grain. I can't see what I'm doing. It's just all with sound and feel. So, here we go. Try not to get shave cream all over this side of my shirt, like I normally do. Beautiful. Here we go to the other side. I can't see it. Just by feel. Until it gets to a certain point, then I can see it. smooth. All right, against the grain on the chin. Beautiful. Switch hands. All right, cheeks. Remember, puff. Other side. mustache area. Be careful.
up. Oh, got me on the chin and the lip. It always does. Put some cream on that. There we go. I didn't like the way that felt. Mm, nice. Let's have a feel. Mustache hair is tricky. I have not, not had a mustache in a long time, so it's very sensitive. You know how it goes when you shave off some hair, it's like, ah, the first time you shave it. Yeah, you should have seen the first time I did it. Should have had it on camera. Okay, let's have a feel around right there. I don't, I should probably let it go, but I'm not gonna. Let's go one more time. Against my better judgment, let's do a little half pass. Oh, man, I'll be so glad when this thing stops. The first time I used it, the very first time, it wasn't bad. But, it, uh, let the smells come out more. All right, let's see what's in here. Not bad. Okay. Just got water everywhere. Stupid. Okay. Dry the hands. Dry, dry, dry. That is a must. Okay. Dry the razor off. Here we go. A little half pass. Got me right there, yeah. Right, here we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Left side now. Got it. All right, rinse. Mm. Not bad. Not 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 bad. Mm. Still dialing it in. I don't think that sharp edge. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. But 
I'm just running some cold water because uh, I'm going to use the alum. Here we go. Get it out. Run it under. Mm-hmm. That felt good. But that'll tighten all that up. Draw off your alum. Do not store it wet. Never. Ugh. Can't stand the way it ugh, gets in your mouth. Ugh. Oh man. Alright, I gotta rinse this off. That's good. Oh man. That's nice. That is nice, nice, nice. Smooth. I mean, besides a little nick there and it's gone. I want a little right there because I'm hard headed. <laughs> I'm a hard headed boy. But nice. Okay. Post shape. Sella. Got the matching set. Of course. Marzy Panty goodness. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Lovely, 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 lovely. And to top it off, you know what? Yeah, I'll use this. Maximum hydration. I was gonna use something else, but I didn't feel like reaching all the way over there. This was available, let's use it. Lovely, 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 lovely shave. All right, that wraps up that massacre. I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, let me get my eyeballs so I can see y'all. Water on them, wouldn't you know? Can't tell you how many times I spend throughout the day just doing this, just cleaning them. Like, dude, what are you talking about? Here we go. Wow, it's like a whole new world. Okay, I don't know. I just wing it half the time. Uh, we went Parker SRX Shavette. Love this thing. Thank you, Jairus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Much appreciated. We went Gillette seven o'clock sharp edge. I don't know, you can't see nothing in the paper, but trust me, it's a sharp edge. Look, my glasses are fogging up. Wow, because I'm so hot. I'm just joking. I don't know. It just looks weird. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go. Just get on with it, man. Um, we went Sella. Prima de Barpa. Mars of Painting Goodness. Look, it's coming back. Oh, well. Uh, we went Vanderhagen. Pure Badger. Uh... Sell up for the after splash and Nivea maximum hydration for the post. Thanks for joining me. Uh, shave of the night, Friday evening. This looks weird. I know it looks like it's so weird, dude. What's on your face? 
It's so weird right there. It's walking up in here. So anyway, I've took up enough of y'all's time. Thanks for joining me for the shave of the night. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. Consider liking, subscribing, click the bell, blah, 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 blah. Y'all know the rest. And let me tell you, I appreciate everybody's comments. I answer them all. I wouldn't do this without y'all, man. Thanks for joining me. And uh, until next time, remember, not every day begins with the shave. But maybe a shave can brighten your day. Take care, friends.